Hello, Edel Campers. We're staying at the Miami Everglades Resort. It's a small resort, but it packs a punch with all the amenities that it has to offer. This is a cute little resort, and if you're a Thousand Trails member, it's part of the Encore package, and you can stay here for $20 a night. All the amenities that you're looking for are centrally located right here behind your office slash store. It's a beautiful day to be at the pool today, but there's only about, hmm, there's three of us here today. Lots of chairs. The restrooms at the pool do not have a shower in them. So the shower that you use is the one outside. You have a stream, and all you do is pull that stream. If you need a little shave, you can come under here and stand for a little while. Can't beat this an afternoon by the pool, hot tub, with a good book, and a nice cool drink. Let's go swimming. Who wants to go swimming with me? Oh man, it feels really good. So some people here think it's really cold. I guess they're so used to uh, it being heated by the sun. And it's just had the water in it since yesterday. All right, we're gonna check out this pool. Ooh, it's a little bit chilly. Not too bad though. It is three foot all the way around. And then as you go deeper, it gets to be six foot. I think I'll just relax here for a few minutes before heading to the hot tub. Fred's opted for the hot tub, so we're gonna go join him, see if it's really hot. All right, guys, this is my favorite view today. How could you not like this? You never know when you might get a little slice of heaven to yourself. Canadian hot tub calibration unit. Let's go. All right, 101 degrees. So, but like I said, they had to cool off for a couple days. They drained it, cleaned it. There are three great big umbrellas here. They could use a little maintenance. This one's a little mildewy. The second one is broken. The third umbrella has no covering at all. Okay, guys. I think this is the most we've seen in Anaheim. Okay. The pool is well lit. Very pretty. One of my favorite things is to be able to come in and swim after dark. Ah, let's relax on our back. <laughs> no problem seeing those steps to get out. In case you're wondering, they do assign sites here. We were assigned to Dolphin Drive, RV site number 96. They will email your site number um, a day before you arrive. It is a 50, 30, 20 amp hookup. It is a full hookup with sewer and water as well. So our site came with a concrete pad and a picnic table. Not all sites come with concrete pads, but most sites do come with the picnic table. Our row is pretty full on Dolphin Drive on the left side. On the right side, you'll see a few empty spots. This is a beautiful campground, and you get that tropical feel as soon as you turn into the resort. As you pull into the campground, on your right, you'll see the cabins. They're really cute, and the landscaping is very tropical. Each cabin comes with a grill, a picnic table, and patio furniture. You'll find most of your cabin's front patios are screened in. If you come in after dark, there's a nice row of lights to light your path into the park. As you're entering on your left, there's an area of campsites where you can park in the shade. So Fred, here's our next setup. It's all our, in our favorite color. There's a little moped in case we have to do some grocery shopping, two e-bikes, and a cute little van with an awning. Yeah, you gotta like this one, Fred. It's for you, babe. As you come down the long drive, you're going to stay on the course of the road. You're going to veer to the right and around to the office to pick up your packet. The landscaping here is just absolutely gorgeous. In front of the grassy area under the shades of where you can park, there's a common area with campfire grills, a picnic, and a trash can. Great place to have a picnic. What's pretty cool too is these common areas 
are well lit, so once dusk arrives, you don't have to hide in your campground. You can still use the common areas. Don't worry, if you come in after hours, there's always someone here to greet you. Meet Allie. Allie is here 24 seven to greet you to Miami Everglades. A nice place to relax in the cool of a nice tropical breeze under a tree. There's lots of um, places that you can do that around the campground. A perfect place to relax. The only thing missing here is Fred. They have a cute little bulletin board birdhouse. It's adorable. And it's sitting right next to this wonderful deck where we hear that they have happy hour. The deck does have a ramp for wheelchairs as well as steps. They are serious about their grilling here. I don't know, but this makes me want to have a party. Well, if they don't have a happy hour, I think Fred and I will come up here after dark, see if the lights are gone, and bring a cocktail of our own. Welcome to the Paul Mason Clubhouse, 315th Bomber Squadron, World War II Guam. They appreciate your service. Go Navy. We are inside the clubhouse where they have a ping pong table, a nice billiard table, and your sticks are hanging on the wall. Your billiard table does take quarters. There are two computer desks in here, or perhaps desk for study. They have three wingback chairs as a reading area. This is for reading and relaxing. They do have some books for you to choose. If you didn't bring something with you, don't be fooled by the closed cabinets. Open them up for a wider variety of books, games, and puzzles. There's no place to sit and watch TV in here, but you can put the game on while you're playing billiards or ping pong. I like to send postcards to the grandbabies from all the different places we go and to some of my nieces and nephews. Around the corner in the office and store, you do have a little mail area where you can get your packages. The mini golf is cute. It has a gate around it. You can go into the office and get your golf clubs and your golf balls. The landscaping here is absolutely gorgeous. The putt-putt looks really fun. They have a fun basketball half court. If you're into shooting baskets, it's a nice little half court for you. Yeah. <laughs> Always wonderful to see activity on the volleyball court. If you're into pickleball, they have a nice set of pickleball courts. They have two where you can play side by side. They also have a bench here where you can sit and watch if you're taking turns or in a tournament or something. They have a cute playground for the children. It's a great place to bring your children, get some energy out, enjoy the sunshine, and let them play. Check out this little playhouse that they have right beside the playground. It's so cute. Makes me want to play inside. They have a nice common area for our campfires. Nice circular place lined with trees and beautiful blue chairs. Okay, peeps, let's see if I can make this horseshoe throw. Are you ready? Here we go. Drawing back. Whether you're an amateur at shuffleboard or more of a professional shuffleboard player, they've got a court for you. They even have lights so you can come out here and play in the dark. The clubhouse does have handicap parking. They have three um, tables and benches, the back of the office in case you want to have a picnic. Love the colors. They have a cool walking track that surrounds the perimeter of the campground. Along the walking track, there are several interesting things to see. This is Sarah's enchanted garden, but Sarah has a lot of nice things in her garden. Herbs, plants, trees, papayas. So it looks like they collect rainwater here to use to water the plants. Sarah's garden even has a few places to sit and relax. Let's walk a little bit further down the path and see if we find anything else interesting. Along this path, you'll find a few benches to rest on if you need. You will also find dog way stations. Those picnic tables that I mentioned along the track and throughout the track so you don't get confused, they have many signs telling you which way the bikers should go and which way the walkers should go. Along the walkway and row of almond trees, there's a long row of tent sites 
They come with electric and water on your mile long walk. There are cool gardens and nurseries all along the fence line. So you can't miss the animals. If you keep walking around the track, there's a little spot where people have walked out and there are no plants and you can come right into the fence and check out those farm animals. Hi guys. Don't pick my thing. Oh, really? Everybody wants to take a lick. If you're walking this track, come find the goats, the chickens, and the turkeys. I can't stick my camera in there because I want to eat it. A pretty big dude. You would be a good Thanksgiving dinner. Mm. I just love the landscaping here. If you're into tropical landscapes, this place is awesome. Isn't that sweet of them? If you get lost on the trail, they have a road sign for you. Point to the direction you're looking for. The bathroom for the pools are right off the office and in front of the entrance to the pool. They have a nice little area right off the laundry mat for you to sit and relax while you are doing your laundry or even work if you need to. There's a table and chairs. I like the washer dryer area. It is very open, very clean, with a lot of air through it. It's a pretty big laundry area. It's kept well clean. It has a lot of ventilation. There's a big back door and open windows and you can actually feel the breeze just blow right through. Your washing machines cost $1.75 and they are paid with your phone. And you can use either Apple Store or Google Play. Don't worry if you forgot your soap, bleach, or softener. They have a machine here that you can buy little um, individual ones for 75 cents each. They also have a sink for you to wash out things. I do like this. They do dedicate two washers for pet friendly, number 40 and 42. For $2, they have two front loading large washing machines. For $1.75, you can dry your clothes. Some laundry rooms in the campgrounds are kind of questionable, sketchy maybe even, but this one I would definitely wash my clothes in. If you don't have a smartphone, you can buy a laundry card here and it walks you right through how to do that. Kitty cornered in between the big open field, the pool, and the putt putt, as well as the storage unit, is our dog yard. The dog park has a nice shaded area with a picnic table. They also have water and a poop station with bags. Like all dog parks, they have their regulations. Some are a little bit different than others. First one I've seen, this is no dogs in heat. Pretty good rule for me and dogs under four months old they have a rather large area for you to store your rv there are also some boats here if you need boat storage need a place for a luau polynesian party get together this is a beautiful thatched roof area with um, great big fire pits or um, barbecue pits actually Welcome to the Tiki Hut. If you're looking for a place to rent, this Tiki Hut is for rent for groups over four. And all you need to do is contact the office. Makes me hungry for some pulled pork, roasted pig. Stick an apple right in his mouth. Boy, I think I better get back for some lunch. There are two bathhouses located in this park, but let's go inside and see how they are. In between the men's and women's room, they do have a sink for you to clean out your dishes if you're tent camping. Cute little sign. But I guess you could take your drinks in. Why not? Four sinks and a ledge to put up your makeup. Whatever else you need to do to get ready for the day. There are five bathroom stalls in here. Not too bad for bathrooms. A nice changing area outside. Maybe a shower stall and a couple of hooks to hang up your things. So if you're in the Everglades, the Walmart here is garage parking and can only host eight foot to eight foot and a half. So if you need to come here and you have a taller vehicle, beware. I lucked up and found some parallel parking right in front of the Walmart, so I can go shopping. Hey. All right, time for the Miami Everglades Cellular Service Report. Well, once again, T-Mobile's at the top with 116 megabits per second down and 34.5 megabits per second up. 
Next up we have Verizon at 79 megabits per second down and 19.5 megabits per second up. Last place, AT&T at 59.8 megabits per second down and 13.1 megabits per second up. None of them are shabby speeds, they'll all do you good, just what you need in paradise. Of course, when you're in paradise, you're probably not going to be surfing on the web. So have a great time, and we'll talk to you soon.